Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up. Uh, you might see that my hair is a bit funny and messy. Um, the plan for today is actually just going to the gym, then meet my friend Daniel. I have no casting, so today is actually the perfect day to show you what I eat. So to start in the morning, you just can follow me in the kitchen. We have a really, really tiny kitchen, as you can see. But I mean, it's enough. You literally just need like a cooking plate, a blender, and a water boiler, so I have everything I need. And now I'm gonna show you what I prepare in the morning to get all the nutrients in and just to prepare myself for the day ahead. So for me, the most important thing in the morning, and I think that should be the most important thing for every single person in the world, is drinking enough water. So whenever I wake up, I just like take this water bottle, most days like half a liter in here because I drank a little bit in the night before. And so what I do, I just chuck that down, like half a liter of water, so you feel hydrated in the morning, your face doesn't look as bloated anymore, and you already just feel a lot fresher. All right guys, so after I drank this half a liter of water, this is still not enough liquid for me, so what I'm doing is I'm heating up some water. Yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this is basically I want to get some ginger and ginger is so important for me because especially here in Hong Kong the weather is changing a lot and a lot of people are catching a cold. So the best treatment for this is just drinking a little bit of ginger every single morning. Hot water, ginger, that's just about enough. And yeah, you will feel so much better. It just prevents you from getting sick or if you're already having a cold, it prevents you from actually like getting it a lot worse than it was before. I guess now let's get to the actual breakfast, which is going to be some oats and a banana. So for the oats, even though it says quick oats, this is just the old box that I used, I'm actually switching to these little bit thicker oats right here. Don't know if you can see it. It's like thick, it's like some sort of like wheat oats. They're like a lot better in my opinion because honestly with the quick oats, my body just digests it so easy and there's like nothing staying. There are no nutrients in it. And those, at least I feel like I have a little bit of a better morning breakfast with those because they're just thicker they're just like a little bit better texture than the quick oats it's just a lot better and then what i'm gonna have with it is just a banana so i'm just opening it up and cutting it in small pieces and then i'm just chucking it in a in a bowl and mixing it all up together all right so once i have the banana chopped up like this i just put it in a bowl and I'm gonna mix it with some almond milk because almond milk, in my opinion, is the best option because right now I have a lot of influence from a lot of vegan people here. So I kind of have a tendency to go towards more vegan options. So I cut off all milk products from my diet, basically meaning no yogurt, no fresh milk. It pretty much have the same sort of like macros in it, maybe a little bit more fatty than the low fat milk, but honestly, that's fine for me because I don't consume a lot of fat throughout the day. So I'm having the bananas, oats, and some almond milk as my very first meal in the morning. All right guys, so now I'm done with my breakfast. I just brushed my teeth, shaved a little bit, and now it's time to the gym, so just follow me around. guys going to the gym now and as you guys always ask me what my height my weight and my body fat is I'm gonna do the test today so they have a machine in the gym where you can test your body fat percentage and that is what I'm going to do now so stay tuned for that I don't even know what my body fat is I think it's a little bit more than it was in Thailand because as I said I don't sweat here as much I don't walk as much as I did in Thailand so it's probably gonna be around like 10 to 12 percent something like that but we will see stay tuned Alright guys, so I'm in the gym right now and now I'm going to do the body fat measurement. So basically how it works, you got to take your shoes off, stand on it, hold on to the, to the bars and then it measures how much body fat you have, how much body fat in your arms is, how much body fat in your legs is and it just like measures everything. And then in the end it prints out a little page for you and you can actually see what your current measurements are. So let's do this. Alright guys, it's tracking right now. Oh, 
Alright guys, I got the receipt right here. It's not really a receipt, it's just a paper that says that my current weight is 73.4, so I'm freaking skinny right now. I didn't expect that at all. I thought it was like a 77 or something. And it also says that my body fat is like 5.4, which is really crazy. I honestly don't think that's true. I think I might be somewhere around like 8 or 9% then. But it's actually cool to see because here you have all sorts of different measurements. So you have like your legs, your arms, and it tracks everything. So you can even see which arm has more fat, which arm has more muscle mass and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the results, but I even want to go a bit lower. So now it's time to work out for me and then I take you guys to the supermarket and we actually do the shopping for the lunch today. All right guys, now it's exactly 12. I just finished my workout. I did a back and tricep workout today. And now, as I said, I'm gonna go to the supermarket. I'm gonna go shopping for my lunch. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys what I make out of the ingredients that I'm going to buy. Alright guys, back from the gym now and now it's time to cook some lunch. It's around 1pm now and I'm gonna tell you guys what exactly I eat almost on a daily basis in order to get the perfect lunch in after my workouts. So the base for almost every single one of my meals is a carb and a protein source. So for this one right here I have red kidney beans and I also have tuna. These two are really cheap. They're coming in cans, you can get them everywhere in the world and that's why I like to stick to these options because everywhere I go to, I can always get them in. If it's in Asia, Europe, America, Australia, it doesn't really matter. Every single country has these items. And like I said before, I eat a lot of raw vegetables. So I have like a carrot here and tomato and I already cut it up, as you can see right here. So what's in here exactly is cucumber, carrot, tomato and also some pepper. And what I'm gonna do now is just like I'm opening the cans up and I'm just um, washing the um, beans and the tuna and then I'm just gonna chuck it in there. That's so easy. That's basically my lunch. Fresh raw vegetables and also beans and tuna. So just finished preparing the meal. This is how it looks like by the way. I had to switch to this humongous pot because it wasn't fitting in a small container anymore. And that's the cool part about it. like it's literally so much food, but it doesn't have a lot of calories. It has like enough carbs and protein, but still it's like a lot of water you consume here as well because there's so many raw vegetables as I said. And it's just amazing because you can eat like a lot of food, but not gaining a lot of weight at the same time, not consuming a lot of calories, still getting in all the nutrients you need after the gym. And what I also like to do is basically having a protein shake because as I told you guys before I'm not eating any sweets so having something that tastes at least a little bit sweet is amazing and this one is actually a vegan option if you want to have a look at it yourself I put the link in the description down below I had a really good experience with it because usually vegan protein shakes aren't tasting that nice but this one actually has a really good chocolate flavor so guys check it out if you want to it's not sponsored or anything it's just like a good experience I have with this product so that's why I want to share it with you so the way I prepared is basically using a blender because we have one right here. We're really lucky in this apartment, usually modeling and partners don't provide this kind of fancy equipment. And what I'm doing with it is just getting, again, a lot of water in, no milk, no nothing, just sticking to the low calorie option, which is water in this case. It still tastes fine actually, to be honest. And yeah, I'm getting about 250 milliliters, maybe a little bit more than that. And also adding, some ice cubes because this makes it taste so much better because ice cubes make it like a lot colder and give it a little bit of texture as well. So I'm just taking out maybe three to four ice cubes and adding it to the shake. Now all we need to do is adding the scoop of protein in, make sure everything goes in there. It's around 30 grams which equals around 21 grams of protein in this case. Whey protein as I said has a little bit more but um, as I guys told you before I want to stick to more vegan options that's why I'm sticking to the pea protein in this case but you can also get like basically any source 
of vegan protein powder. So all we gotta do with it now is basically just blending it and then we're good with the vegan protein shake as well. Alright guys, so to summarize what I made for my lunch today, I can show you again. This is a pot full of different kind of raw vegetables and a can of tuna and a can of red beans. And this is a vegan protein shake, chocolate taste, just water, ice cubes and the protein powder. Because I have a lot of greens, I have carbs, I have protein and I have basically everything I need without consuming a lot of fat. Basically no trans fats whatsoever. Yeah, and I'm really happy just eating that every single day after my gym workout just gives my body the perfect nutrients I need in order to grow and maintain a shredded physique at the same time. All right guys, just made it to Mr. Daniel's apartment. What's up, Daniel? Hey, I'm fine. We actually planned to go out and train, but now it started to rain like crazy. Now we decided to do a little... Chocolate vegan cake. A vegan chocolate cake, check this out. So what are we gonna use to, to make that chocolate cake, Daniel? Well, we need flour, first of all. Then we need cacao powder. Because we're working out hard, we take a little bit of protein powder to get these little boys bigger. <laughs> <laughs> we add some uh, almonds, some uh, baking soda, and a glass of water, and that's it. That's pretty much it, it's really easy. I actually haven't planned to eat that today, but now I might try a little bit. It's not really fitting into my macros today, but Daniel, he's vegan and he tries to like make new vegan things every day. So I'm gonna try a little bit. What my option would be in that case is basically a protein bar. Like whenever I wanna have like a snack on the side, I'm usually sticking to things like protein bars or just fruits, because these are nice, these have protein and they don't really have a lot of calories yet they provide the right amount of nutrients for you and it's so much better than like having a chocolate bar or like any kind of sweets or like whatever other guys are eating um yeah i'm just sticking to protein bars they're the healthiest option and yeah they just taste delicious just like this vegan cake we're about to make guys so after one hour of cooking we finally finished the legendary vegan, vegan chocolate, chocolate cake. cake look at that beauty it looks kind of beautiful kind of creamy but let's actually try it now and let's figure out how this shit tastes <laughs> <laughs> well, let's dig in there it tastes special wow. it's very creamy mm -hmm. it's pretty creamy it's like pretty mm. crusty on the top so this is already good so the texture is pretty good for the taste of course you could have added like a lot more sugar we did it like completely <laughs> without sugar zero sugar zero sugar that's pretty crazy <laughs> that's like one way to do it i think the best option would probably be the same recipe like this but probably adding some sweetener like stevia mm. or something like that so it just gives it um, a little bit more of a sweet taste but if you don't really care about that which is obviously the case for us. We just care about how healthy that we stuff care about is. This one. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. And now let's eat that monster and let's see how we feel afterwards. So guys, just coming back from Daniel's house, we made this awesome chocolate cake. Um, I actually didn't eat that much of it because obviously today I have to stick to my usual diet in order to show you guys the right meal plan I'm having in a usual day of mine. So whenever it comes to little snacks like this, of course I have a little bite, but not actually eating half of the chocolate cake. So right now I'm on the way to the gym. I'm doing a second session today. I'm doing a little cardio session. And whenever I do this, whenever I do a, like a gym session in the afternoon, whenever I do a long walk or anything I need energy for, I'm getting in a banana because the banana is fast carbs, it's fast energy for your body. And your body can really access that energy really quickly. So that's perfect if you're just about to do another gym session. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that session then. So I'm gonna do that session, then I'm heading back to the supermarket, get the remaining food in, and then I'm gonna cook some dinner with you guys. By the way, there's a firefighting car. That's why my face is like blinking so crazy right now. 
Anyway, yeah, heading to the gym, then to the supermarket, then it's dinner time, and then I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so I just got back from the gym from a cardio session, and now it's actually time to cook my dinner. And what I'm gonna do today is basically green lentils as a source of carbohydrates. I'm gonna have some broccoli, and I'm also gonna have some eggs. I'm not actually eating the full eggs, I'm just having the egg whites because the egg yolks are quite high in cholesterol and fat and we don't want to get too much fat in, so I'm not sticking to that. Actually, usually I would cook some chicken, but right now with the influence of Daniel, I want to go a little bit more vegan or at least vegetarian. So that's why I'm sticking to like broccoli, eggs and lentils instead of, for example, chicken or any other sauce of fish or meat. So I just finished my dinner, which is basically, as I said, broccoli, green lentils and the egg whites. I just put a little bit of seasoning on top, which is basically just salt and pepper, just to make it a little bit more tasty. But as I said, it's really clean, it's really healthy, and it provides you again with all the right macros and nutrients you need in order to maintain your healthy physique. All right guys, and now for the last thing I wanna tell you guys about is basically my snacks. So whenever I had like a big meal, like just now, I wanna have something sweet. So I have a nice dragon fruit here but you can basically stick to any fruit you want just make sure it's not too much because fruit is still sugar it's healthy sugar but just don't eat too much of it and then as well i have some peanuts here these are actually from five guys hashtag not sponsored <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that's basically my snacks i don't eat anything else no chocolate no crisps not anything like that just fruits or some nuts Alright guys, that was it for today. That was my full day of eating. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you got all the information you need and I really think that some of you might get inspired by this. Don't just copy someone's diet plan. Just get some information out of it and make your own plan. Because if you just copy it, like you have to consider factors like genetics, like the amount of time I work out in a week and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, just use whatever you can out of this diet plan. Um, I will provide all the information. I will provide a whole list of all the food I ate during this day in the very end of this video. So you can check it out yourself. You can actually uh, screenshot that list or whatever you want to do. So you have all the amount of macros I consumed today. And yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like and then I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned.